important for me because I'm here for like seven years and I feel like in home and here in Kansas City and my teammates, Dayton, everybody, I like over here that's why I'm coming back. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The Royals have officially re-signed shortstop Alcides Escobar to a one-year deal worth $2.5 million, with also $1.5 million in performance bonuses based on plate appearances. The 31-year-old Escobar has been with Kansas City for the past seven years, batting .250 last season with 54 RBIs. Escobar was an all-star in 2015 while also winning a gold glove at shortstop. Speaking of the Royals, they also pulled off a trade Monday night, dealing slugger Brandon Moss and relief pitcher Ryan Buckter to the A's in exchange for starting right-handers Jesse Hahn and Heath Billmeyer. For Moss, it's a reunion as he spent three seasons with Oakland previously, including as an All-Star in 2014. Meanwhile, Hahn joins the Royals after spending three seasons in Oakland, compiling an 11-16 record and notching a 4.57 ERA. They have been determined to shave some payroll and restock their farm system, so they had another arm to their farm system and possibly help the rotation. So a pretty good deal for both sides. The Brewers are staying busy this offseason. After seriously enhancing their lineup with the additions of Christian Yelich and Lorenzo Cain, the Brew crew have turned their attention to shoring up the bullpen, reportedly signing Matt Albers to a two-year deal worth $5 million pending a physical. The 35-year-old Albers went 7-2 last season for the Nationals, notching a 1.62 ERA. The righty reliever is 35, and he'd be Milwaukee's oldest player. Ryan Braun is about 11 months younger than Albers. Though he's coming off one of his best seasons uh, for the Washington Nationals last year, had a 1.62 ERA in 61 innings, uh, nearly four strikeouts for every walk, was the best ratio of Albert's career, as was a 0.85 whip. So add him to the late inning mix in front of closer Corey Knable. David Stern stays very busy with the Brewers, adds to his pen. A point of contention for some and beloved by others, the Chief Wahoo logo will be removed from Cleveland's uniforms beginning with the 2019 season. On Monday, Major League Baseball announced that the Indians will discontinue the use of the divisive logo on their uniforms after the 2018 campaign. On Sunday night, the 95th Baseball Writers Association of America Awards took place in Midtown Manhattan. Eight major awards were presented, including honorees and LMVP John Carlos Stanton and AL Rookie of the Year Aaron Judge. Now teammates, Judge was all smiles as both will soon be trading in their tuxedos for pinstripes. An award like this is never never an individual award. You know, it's always a group effort uh, from the people that support us, you know, day in and day out. You know, that's why I just want to thank also the city of New York. You know, embracing me, you know, all the fans, you know, support day in and day out. You know, even when we're struggling, you know, you guys are still there for us. So I just want to say thank you to you guys. For more on these stories and all the latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.